Uh, my name is Thierry Geoffroy. I do an art uh, that produces uh, artworks, but also I do art formats, uh, which are recipe to, um, to do art. My name is Tiana Miskovic and I am a curator. I have been working with the Thierry Geoffroy for the last uh, couple of years in uh, specifically this project of ultra contemporary and emergency art. In this space we show art that is uh, done every day. Every day there is a new ex exhibition and the artwork are updated. Uh, they are updated uh, in the now because it's important to show art about today. Uh, if we show art about yesterday, uh, then uh, we, we can have any pertinence. This is a bit about political art also, what are the dysfunction in society. So it's better to show them while they happen, so we can compete with other forms of uh, perception and information. The, the reason for changing is uh, not simply to, to change uh, for the sake of entertainment. Uh, it is uh, because the artworks are actually um, trying to focus on the dysfunctions in society, uh, which means that uh, the artist is trying to grab the now. Every day um, he will be trying to uh, uh, scan the society through the newspapers by talking to the people and observing uh, in general what is happening around him and then from that uh, he would have artworks, new artworks uh, every day. The now, you can define it, but it's not possible to grab because every time you want to grab the now, there is a new now. Like for example, I did it the 26th of uh, February at 14. Uh, this I can forget, uh, we, have, we, have, we have a new now. So now we have a new now. But the time I grab this now, uh, maybe uh, more of the 1.4 million children have died because uh, there is an evolution in the, in the dysfunctions. Uh, the, the, the xenophobia has grown in South Africa or somewhere else. There is more weapons. There is so It's important to try to be at least as close as possible to the, to the now. Well, an exhibition like this is definitely a um, uh, chain reaction to what has been hap happening before and what we would like to see in the future. So this means the ultra-contemporary exhibition uh, is a part of a movement. So um, it has been done in many countries, like 10 countries uh, uh, in, um, in institutions and many more countries in, um, when it comes to uh, uh, events like fairs. Uh, so this means that art artists who are connected to this kind of expressions uh, would uh, join and this movement would grow. So if more artists work like this, obviously we will have a bigger chance to change uh, people's uh, perception of uh, what is happening in the society as well, uh, creating a different kind of voice. It's a culture to create that, let's say, uh, if, if uh, the time of the artist is reduced between the moment the artist see an alarm and show the alarm if we reduce this time to almost nothing. So it's possible to artists to react. In the, in the world there is millions and millions of artists. I don't know how many you have in this town, but Berlin is about one million. New York is about half a million. Paris is about 300,000. There is so many artists, you know, in, the, in our uh, welfare society. Many, many people are artists. So if we kind of create a culture around uh, uh, this uh, pool of people uh, to react uh, and have a role in society about this, then it's a lot of people we are talking about. To work in this project for me is a way of um, contributing to the creation of a platform for art that can be expressed um, in an uh, ultra-contemporary way, which would mean that the artists will have a chance to express their worries and their observations about society, which I think is very important. Um, so basically the, what I would like to achieve is to, uh, to bring the artist's voice uh, more out there, uh, artist's voice uh, becoming part of a debate in the society more than it is, is today.